we had a snow day today, so we were all gonna go sledding, but everything is turning into slush. Oh, Benjamin found a parking lot. Oh, dang it. We were gonna do donuts, but somebody stole our thunder. Stole our thunder. Anyway, so now donuts. we are going to... <laughs> go off road. <laughs> we are going to go get some barbecue food. Can I go? Look. She's gonna freak out. Oh, so I thought you were gonna get a snowball. Run! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, kids! Come on, there's someone backing up. Quick! Yay! <laughs> and I'm over there. He's eating all the. <laughs> Rockery. Mashed potatoes. Mm. Broccoli, mashed potatoes. Mm. I thought I thought that was meat. Oh. You ate the bone. No, I was gonna take a bite, like a big bite. Oh yeah, be careful. And then there was a bone, so so my teeth like slid across. Like put your hair behind your head. It's like a lion's it. mane. It's just round everywhere. Oh yeah. No. My mom is the best mom in the world. Have the most baby. I'm the best mom in the what? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> best mom in the world. I rub it. I rub it. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Taking a second. Mm -hmm. I took that off the table. You did? Mm -hmm. Tastes any different? A little bit. A little, <laughs> little more salty. A little bit like a wet rag? Yeah. It's pretty good. Windex. Maybe nobody else cleans their tables with Windex but you. Oh. That's the only way to clean it. Mom, you're the one that told me to clean the table. Sassy sauce. Ben trained us all. Mmm. Lemonade. Lemonade. Hi. 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 I gotta be fancy. Because I. Before it's like. Ugh, I don't want to do. Oh, you too, Tom. <laughs>
So I am making coffee this morning um, with my espresso machine. Something that I love about this machine is that, well, of course, it's totally fresh. It's pretty quick to clean up, and um, you can make cold or hot. So today I'm going to do cold. And also, I freaking love these espresso beans with my coffee. I love just to have like two or three little chocolate-covered espresso beans, and I always add caramel to my coffee. So... <laughs> So if I wanted to make it hot, so right now the espresso is being made, and if I wanted to make it hot, then I would just put some milk in here and I would um, steam it to get hot coffee. So I'm making pretty much an iced caramel macchiato. So totally just had issues with the espresso. My little brother used the dual wall cup last. I have no idea what that means. Do you guys? Anyway, it should work now. So the machine is acting slower today. Maybe it needs to be descaled or whatever. It tastes exactly like a caramel macchiato at Starbucks, except maybe you spend 20 cents. <laughs> I got into these chocolate covered espresso beans when I have a favorite coffee shop out here in Salt Lake and they always put two of them on top of your cup and I was like mmm they're so good so now I like always request them when I go there and I ended up buying my own little box so these ones I got over at Beans and Brew which is also another Utah coffee shop but I'm sure you can find them other places so Yesterday, I was over at Shell's trying to find a fleece vest is all I wanted. And I didn't really care like what it looked like, just black. Um, and who would have known that like fleece vests are $180. So one of my favorite ones was $180. I'm like, yeah, I don't care that much about this vest. So I ended up getting this one, which is kind of a fleece vest. It's Patagonia and it's fine. It's just, even this one was $100, so, whatever. <laughs> I like it. I didn't fully style my hair today, but, but yeah, it was crazy. When I was in Shields, like, I had a couple things I wanted to go in there for. I wanted to get my boyfriend an Adidas tracksuit, and the specific one I was searching for, I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I wanted to get, I think the brand is Adidas, it's like a rose, gold I don't know rose pink color um on these gym shoes and they didn't have those and then I wanted a vest and the cheapest vest they had was a hundred dollars the other ones didn't fit nice like they weren't fitting at all they 
like they had cheaper ones but they like puffed out funny and they just looked dorky so anyways for Ew, I thought I just saw something in my backyard and sometimes we have rats back there it's the weirdest thing and they're freaking huge and they hop across the yard anyways <laughs> um I'm going to do the unboxing of my Louis Vuitton today so that's up next I'm excited I've been waiting for it and I wanted to also include the cleanup so you guys can see how easy it is so all I did was rinse out the espresso cup, put it back up here. This is the thing that packs down the espresso. Put that up there. And you don't want to dump these in your sink, it does. I don't know, our sink started getting gross and smelly and it built up in the uh, disposal. like drainage that is that goes underneath in this little tray area oh my gosh I keep thinking I see something um but you don't have to clean that up every single day there's a little floater that comes up that says clean me when it's time to do that and then like I said if I want a hot coffee then I would put milk in here and steam it over there. but I want it iced and that's it so it really only takes a couple extra minutes from regular, like a regular pot of coffee. Yeah. Well, let's try calling Kimmy's Chop House and see if they're booked out. And then maybe even like look up their menu. I mean, I've heard great things about it and I've been wanting to try it, so. Okay, cool. Thanks. Love you, bye. Okay, so while I was in New York, I felt like I was just like scrambling with all my things. I only brought my Never Full. And I mean, I had my Chanel too up here, but. I just didn't feel like this was a bag to like run around the city with because they're like we were at Rockefeller and somebody got their phone like literally stolen from them like they dropped it and somebody picked it up instantly and ran and so that guy like oh my gosh he was freaking out like screaming at everybody um but anyways so I just didn't feel like that bag would be like appropriate to be running around New York around like the holidays um and it's not really like a to me that's like my nicest bag I own so that wasn't something that I just feel like you should just stuff stuff in and drag it around. Um, so I wanted a smaller bag, like some type of little crossbody to be able to run around the city with because like not just New York, but just when we travel just in general to have like a little bag that's not quite as nice as a Chanel, but it's around that size that I can just throw my phone, my wallet, lip gloss, like something very simple, like just my very minimal things that I need like that. Um, so I went to Louis Vuitton and I noticed that like all the sales associates had these little crossbody like handbags on them and I was like I need something small like that can you show me something and the sales associate in New York was like we I'm out of breath but she was like um we don't sell this anymore and I was like okay is there like something else like my budget's around fifteen hundred dollars she's like no there's nothing like that I'm like okay so then I found like a bag that was within the price range or something. I don't know. There was like a, a bag that I liked, but I wanted it to come in a smaller size. 
and a different sales associate was a lot nicer and more helpful and she's like and she just grabbed everything within my budget um that was that size and just put it out in front of me and then I just picked my favorite um and it was funny like while I was hanging on to the bag just a few random people in the store were like you need to get that bag that's so cute so that was the first time I've ever made like a spur of the moment purchase like that I've never Usually I don't just buy that nice of a bag like without lusting over it for like a year. So that was different. Um, and then when I left, I was kind of mad at myself because I was like, oh my gosh, like I totally know that I've been wanting a Canada Goose coat and those Canada Goose coats are $950. And I just like made a random purchase for like a $1,600 Louis Vuitton. <laughs> so I was kind of mad at myself, but um, Anyways, then I got home and they have a store here called Bastille and they carry Canada Goose. They're like the only store that does and I ended up trying on the coat and I loved it. Maybe I should start there. I ended up getting the freaking coat. I know my life has been crazy lately. I've been spending way too much, but um, it was Christmas and then my birthday's on January 9th. So that's how I justified it. Maybe I'll show that coat first. Here it is. It's seriously so warm. The hood is coyote fur, which I felt bad about. I don't I don't like purchasing fur, but they had like a really good backstory on it. They explained that coyotes are overpopulated right now and that they're being killed anyways, like not even for their fur, just killed and thrown away basically. So they talked about how the fur on the hood is actually, you know what I mean, they're not like just killing just to kill. I don't know. They're not a regular fur distributor, I guess, because coyotes are being killed anyways. Anyways, I felt bad about it, but I guess it's done very humane, and there's a link on their website that you can read about it, is what the still told me. So, anyways, I love this coat. I have to get a full body. It goes just a little bit. Let me turn this downward. It goes a little bit past my butt, which I didn't think I wanted, but they had it a uh, coat that was like, I think they called it a bomber and it was up here, but it could easily like your skin could show and maybe you'd be a little cold. So, and then they had one that went clear down to like your ankles. And so of course I didn't want that. So I felt like this one was perfect. It fit my body better. Um, the little bomber made me look fat, honestly. It was just short and stuffy. And for that price, you should get something that you don't feel fat in. <laughs> Like, I know it's a big puffy coat, but still, I don't really like that. So this one's more fitted. And I just really, I love it. Super warm. It has this little, this little interior, like, sleeves that you can use to warm up your hands, which my hands are always cold in the morning on my steering wheel and everything. Um, I am very, very happy with this purchase. Love it. Okay. <laughs> on to the next. Let's get to the morning time. And I actually haven't even opened it yet because I was waiting to do the unboxing for you guys. So, again, I always take full advantage of this. If you don't have a Louis Vuitton or a Prada or whatever in your state, then they ship to you for free and they remove the taxes. So I asked them about that and it saved me a couple hundred dollars. Actually, yeah, like close to $200. So I was like, totally, like I don't even want to pack that huge box back on my airplane anyways. But something I have to say, I don't know if it's because it was around the holidays or what, but it literally took like 10 days to get to me, which I was like, is it coming? Did it get lost in the mail? Anyways, finally got it. So here it is. See, this is just the perfect size to run around with. It'll hold my wallet, my phone, 
some lip gloss, like the very minimal things that you need while traveling and running around. It has this little top handle. It almost looks like a cosmetic bag or something. I don't know, but I seriously love the shape. And then the interior zippers. Interior just has one little pocket on the inside right there. So that's probably like where I could put my phone or a little bit of cash or something. Stick that in there. So yeah, there's plenty of room in there. My phone's in there and it's still just tons of space. So it'll totally fit my wallet and my lip gloss. And that is seriously all I needed. And around the city, I just felt like I was always holding all those things and like trying to stuff them in pockets. So I just felt like it was spilling stuff everywhere I went. So. Okay, so think I love it and I just barely sold one of my other Louis Vuittons it was oh, I always forget the name it's those rounded bags like they have that round shape to them when they're full I forgot the name of it anyways so I just sold that and that had this print on it and so now the only Louis Vuitton I have is just that one never full that's like the white and the navy color so I'm happy that I got another dark one. And I like that it has this black leather on the side too. It kind of helps keep it, I don't know, has a little bit of contrast, nice and dark. Anyways, so yep, today's Monday. Today is usually my day off, kind of. I mean, I don't have lash clients, but I still feel my day full of a ton of errands. And so today I'll have to run to the bank. I'll probably have to run to one of my other locations. Um, and kind of do a few accounting things there. Um, I ran my daughter to school this morning and her friend and yeah, just random errands and I'm going to go and post this video. So anyways, thank you for watching.